Am I smarter than a fifth grader? Can I make good deals? Will I be a millionaire? Well, these questions will be answered today because I will be playing and hopefully beating five different game shows. I think we should start with are you smarter than a fifth grader because I definitely didn't spend $30 on Steam on it. I think the smartest person of this group is gonna be Isaac. He spells his name with a K, am I right? A plus in English, look at that. All right, cool. I wanna do exam mode, right? I would call myself uh, an academic figure. I'm Teddy. Hello, One Teddy. Two hosts for the show. Two hosts. Every question here is worth 100 points. Okay. Yes. There they are. Where's Isaac? Oh, I'm Isaac. Halima. All right, Halima, let's do this. You've let's go spelling. spelling. Just ask me the question. I'm gonna get it right. You know it. Syllables are in the following word. Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. Academic figure. What's the answer? Why do they call me academic? Okay, let's go five. Final answer. And we've got your answer. So the answer is five. Let's go uh, measurements, because I don't want measurements when we get into fifth grade, because I don't know like kilometers and stuff. So let's do some easy measurements. Zach is using a recipe that calls for a half cup of milk. If he doubles the recipe, how many cups of milk does he use? One half times two equals one. One cup, final answer. And the answer is in. One cup. Good job. You get one. You didn't help me at all, Halima. Why are you cheering? Get off my screen. Here we go. All right, konnichiwa. All right, bye, Ava. All right, here we go. Let's see what subjects I'm going to go with uh, life sciences. The leaves of which of these are commonly used as an herb in cooking. Birch. Basil. Basil, final answer. Beach. So, the correct answer is basil. Measurements. Now, Timed question. Okay, here we go. Buckle in. seconds is equivalent to how many minutes? One minute and ten seconds. The is anybody right watching this in second grade? Like, do you not know the answer to this? Wait. Here we go. One and one-sixth minutes. Why do you keep swapping hosts? You guys ask two questions and then you swap out. Who's next? So your classmate for this grade is... Give me Eli. Give me Eli. Joaquin. Okay. All right, Joaquin. Let's yeah. do this. Uh, at least we save Eli for fifth grade because yeah. he has got like the Jimmy Neutron yeah. thing. I don't care about you, Joaquin, unfortunately. Pick yourself a good question. I'm going to go vocabulary. While playing tag, Madison divides the playground into quadrants, each with its own home base. How many bases are there? Quad equals four. So, the right answer is four. Surprise, surprise, quadrant equals four. This game's too easy. Um, how about we go with reading, because I could hardly read. But if Francesca decides to write her life story, then she is writing which of the following? A biography. Autobiography. An autobiography. Academic figure. What's your answer? I really don't love that you address me as academic figure. I know I chose that, but the title feels weird. Well, the right answer is autobiography. But that's enough for me. It's your turn. Why are we switching back and forth every single question? I don't get this. Exciting. Let How much are you guys getting paid? Classmate and say goodbye to the old one. Yeah. All right. See you later, man. <gasps> oh, we have Eli. Cool. Academic okay. Figure. Choose a good subject. Uh, uh let's it go with math. Fine, fine. We'll go math. Okay, at least I got it. Of three fourths. Four thirds, baby. Four thirds is one and one thirds. So one and one thirds final answer, baby. It's now locked in. And the correct answer is one and a third. Good work. What is the absolute value of negative seven? Give me a break with these easy questions. Seven. Value of negative seven. Seven. You just put the absolute value the brackets around it and it just negates the negative. And the actual answer is... All right, let's hear it. Thank you, Claudia, for affirming this. That means you get 200 and... Woo, there we go. How do adults fail this? I thought Europe was a country. I'm not gonna lie, so far, this is the biggest waste of $30 ever. All right, who do we have coming in? It's the other yes. kid, right? Hey, my name's Haley. My two best subjects are reading and spelling. Oh no, she's British. <laughs> Here are your choices for this question. Spelling. How many times are vowels used in the spelling of the following word? Vowels? 
Liaison. Liaison. L I A. So I A I O. Liaison. So four. Final answer. It's your turn to answer. I'm not that well, confident on this the one. Answer is four. Nice work. Let's see if there's a good subject. Let's go social now, studies. Social study. Keep your eyes peeled. I'm a very social, studious person. In the 1930s, what, what military man? reservation in Kentucky became the designated location for the bulk of America's gold reserve? Easy enough. Fort Hood. Fort Drum. Fort Knox. Pick the right answer. So the only one I've heard of is Fort Knox. So I'm guessing it's going to be that. If it's not Here's Fort Knox, answer. that's a massive flub by me. Fort Knox. Okay, fifth grade questions were like somewhat difficult. Liaison and Fort Knox. But it's time we swap hosts. All right, it's here's the finale. Sixth grade question. So am I truly smarter than a fifth grader That's coming down to the sixth grade parents. question? Too much dialogue. Right all these NPCs because talking. Mmm, ice cream so good. Academic figure. Pick your favorite subject. My Six. favorite? Life science. Vocabulary. I, I'm going to go with life sciences. No need to leave. Because Measurements? Life science. Oh, life science. Okay. Final question. You can do it. Let's Thank you. I think I could. If you're really smarter than a fifth grader. What does Ironwood rapidly do in water? All right. So my logic here is that Ironwood is a type of wood. So it's not going to rust. Wood doesn't. I don't think wood can rust. Magnetize? Doesn't something need like an electronic pulse in order to magnetize? Maybe it's just like such a heavy wood that it sinks. It's the only one that makes sense. Like if we're using deductive reasoning here, wood doesn't rust, wood doesn't magnetize, so it could only really sink. If I get it wrong, like whatever. I'm happy to redo this. So you just won't see this cut, but we'll see. Sink, final answer. Here's the I'm pretty answer. confident. I'm like 85% confident. Is... Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Sink. Let's go! It's time to oh, I won. Okay. You are smarter than a fifth grader. Let's go. I even got the achievements. Well, there you go. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. All right, so now we're playing a game called America Says, which I didn't grow up with, but it has become a pretty popular game. So how to play, you guess how... Okay, the fill in the blank. What is this example? In the morning, the first thing I touch is my... Oh, okay. Phone, money. Okay. They know what they're doing. So the goal is to get every single one but one because it's re unrealistic to get everything. All right. So the thing I find sexiest in a woman is her. Okay. All right. Let's try and her eyes, her hair. Okay. Her, um, her, her figure. Oh, wow. Okay. Her body, her bosom. Wow. Okay. At least V. Ooh, let's be careful about this one. Maybe like her, what's what's attractive about a woman? Her legs. C, what's the big one, C? Chest? No. C, her voice, I think a woman's voice, good. And her character. I forgot that they surveyed guys for this. Are we talking physical? That's the thing, like her, her charm, her charisma. Come on, woman, what do you guys have? You guys have uh, her, her confidence. Oh yeah, of course, of course, sorry. Sorry about that one. All right, that's fine. We got it right. I know it's a bug, but I don't mind when I see a ladybug. Shout out. Uh, praying mantis. You guys are kind of cool, right? I don't mind if I see an ant. No harm, no foul, right? I don't mind if I see a dragonfly. I think they're kind of cool, right? Uh, a beetle. Things that fly. Oh, a butterfly, butterfly. Good. Oh, last second. Nice. What's the other one? Caterpillar. Okay, so a pre-butterfly. That works. All right, this might be the round. When I think about tennis, I think of Wimbledon. I think of um, Selena Williams. Oh, Serena Williams. Wow, I flubbed that. I think of Love. I think of Nets. Tennis. Racket, racket, good. D, 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 D. Donuts. John McEnroe or doubles. Okay, all right, so I... I was one out of what I wanted, so now I have to have a perfect bonus round. That's the only way I'll, I'll be happy with this. You were definitely cool in high school if you had a car. Good. Okay, okay. America's most important natural resource is... Should be oil. 
Coal? Uh, water? Good. The best part of any rodeo, rodeo is the horses, the cowboys. It's definitely cowboys, I misspelled it, right? Hopefully. The bull racing, bull riding, bull riding. The clubs. Okay, let's skip, we'll go back to this. In order to be a good soldier, you have to be um, diligent. Okay, here, you have to be strong. You have to be fair. No, you have to be, um, let's skip this. Oh no, so we only have a couple left. Any rodeo is the... I don't know, I'm gonna reveal it. I don't know, disciplined, brave, fit. Okay, it's kind of like strong. And then clown. There's clowns at rodeos? Nothing like getting run over by a bull. All right, I'm done with this. All right, so one game that I have a really good feeling about is deal or no deal, hey. All right, so you guys know how this game goes, right? So basically what we do is we pick a case to start with and then we have to eliminate and the goal is to keep as much money in our pockets as possible. So we have to basically like deduct the ones with the low value. So watch, it's actually a really fun game. All right, so I'm gonna choose the number five, which is one of my favorite numbers. So now, that's my case. So now we have to choose six cases to open and we hope that they have low dollar values because then they get deducted and then there's a higher chance that our case contains more money. Let's get rid of the ones with like bad omens attached. So like lucky number seven, let's get rid of that. See, one penny, so that's perfect. That's considered a perfect pull. Six, we don't want all that six energy, right? Okay, see, like, that was terrible. So now that's clearly bad. I think the goal, by the way, should make six figures. If we make six figures, then I'm happy. 18. Okay, four. All right, that's fine. Yes, yeah, so we want everything on the left side of the board. Let's go 19. That number really irks me. 5,000. Okay, not bad. 26. Okay. It, so the bank's offering us 25,000. No deal. Let's go 14. Good. You know, I'm happy to accept 100,000 plus from the bank. Let's go 11. Too many ones. Okay, good. Three more cases. So let's go one. Like, what are the odds that one has a really high number to it? 10. Cool. I think we could actually have a pretty solid offer from the banker coming up. Why do I keep jinxing myself? All right, let's go 13. Lucky number 13. All right, let's see what the banker wants to give us. 55K. No deal. Uh, 17. Nice. Good, good, good. What number doesn't belong here? I feel like number three doesn't belong. It looks a little weird, doesn't it? Yeah, I thought so. And the other weird number, I didn't want to say this, but 16 looks a little odd, wouldn't you say? Yep. And then finally, I think eight is just like something about it. It's just like, eh. Come on, give... 101, th oh, all right. So, do we get greedy and keep going or do we take $101,000? So, if you're watching this and it's your first time being exposed to like game theory, okay, well, whatever, we, I timed it out. But I was gonna say you should always take it, but for the sake of this game, we're not gonna take it. 25,000, good. So now as long as we're opening things that are under the banker's offer, then we're good. So basically anything under 100,000 is fine. Good. See, like, that's fun. Uh, let's go 20. I feel like I'm on a hot streak. Now our offer went down. So we said we want $100,000. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and three of them are over. So there's a three and eight chance we win, which isn't in our favor, but no deal. 12. 25, please. Give me 200. Good. Come on. What are you offering me? $127,000. No deal. I want 300K. Minimum. You know what? I didn't... Plus ah, what do I do? How about I counter offer? I'm going to ask for 150000 Declined? Okay. Uh, 137000 or do we go for the 400K? No deal. I think our case contains $400,000. I'm positive. I've never been more positive about anything in my life. 300, $180,000. We could literally make like a top end salary right now. However, 
I believe that I chose the right case. 24 shout out Kobe. Woo! Okay, so we can get 246,000 or we can go for it. No deal. All right. One of these cases contains $400,000 and the other contains $750. Do we think, what are the odds that like out of 25 cases, I chose one with $400,000. Like they say you should always switch because the odds that 400,000 were in like those 25 suitcases I didn't choose is much higher than me just picking the 400,000. So I'm gonna actually go against the grain and I'm gonna choose 15. This is just like probability. 400,000, here we go. Am I going to be rich or poor? Let's move on. All right, it's time for Family Feud. Me versus Yaritza. Hello, Yaritza. How are you today? Round one. Let's do this, baby. All right, name an office supply you could use to pick food out of your teeth if you don't have a toothpick. What? I guess, uh, what is that called? Like a staple? Good. Um, the, uh, you know what I'm talking about? Like that little pin? Pin? Pack pin? No, that's still not what I'm talking about. Paperclip, paperclip. Good, paperclip number one. I guess you use a piece of paper. Yep, paper envelope. What a dumb question, too. Um, oh, I guess you use like a pen cap. Cool. And then lastly, um, your mouse. Uh, ball. A letter opener. Who is a letter opener? Who's willing to put that in their mouth, too? Next round. Double points. All right, just got to beat this girl here. Name an article of clothing that's often made of leather. Okay, so jacket, uh, leather pants. No. Uh, what else? We have leather shoes, for sure. Belts. And lastly, you know, leather purse doesn't count. Okay. Gloves, gloves, gloves. A leather belt. I said it. A leather vest. I guess if we're like policemen, what's the score right now? All right. It's getting close. Round three, triple points. Here we go. Name some place you might hear the word strike. Baseball game. Uh, the writer's strike. So like a protest. Protest. Cool. Oh, bowling alley, bowling alley. Bowling alley. Yes, perfect round. Go to fast money, time for fast money now. Earn 100 points, okay, love it. If a fish is out of water, name something it might be on. Uh, beach. Name an animal with long ears. Rabbit. Name a three letter word that's a child's favorite thing. Toy. Name a meat you carve at the table. Turkey. Name a good place to go when you wanna cry. Car. I definitely don't do that, come on now. <laughs> Beach, 44 points, number one answer. Rabbit, 50, okay, so I have to get 200 to win. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of crushing this. Name of me, you cover the table. Am I about to get 300? Oh, bed slash bedroom, okay. 247 points, so we're winners. You see, this game is so much better. I actually enjoy this game. All right, guys, it's time to play who wants to be a millionaire. Let's go normal mode and we'll go easy if we have to, right? So we'll go classic, try to beat the game. Uh, we'll just stick with all these normal themes. Let's go with Ruben. He's a consultant, which I like. So I feel like he's pretty well put together. Smart guy. All right, here we go. And which of these sports does a successful touchdown add to the score? That's going to be football. Regis, final answer. There we go. Which of these chemical elements is not a metal? Iron, tin, copper, helium. Helium, final answer. All right. So, what is that, $200? Okay, 13 more questions. Which of these is traditionally heard before a race? Um, I think it's called the starting pistol. Okay, great. I ran track for like two years. Which fictional character is the boy who wouldn't grow up? Christopher Robin, Peter Pan, William Brown, or Jennings? It's got to be Peter Pan. Although Christopher Robin also doesn't really grow up. Okay, good. 500 dineros. Great. What superstorm wreaked havoc on America's eastern seaboard in fall of 2012? This is Hurricane Sani, which I was affected by because I live in the East Coast in New Jersey. There we go. $1,000. Thank you very much. All right. From which language does the word elite come from? I-T-E. Okay, so I-T-E is the suffix here. Not Spanish, it's French or Italian? Italian, because there's some suffixes that end in I-T-E in Italian. Okay, I'm not that smart, I guess. Which of these professionals should have a good bedside manner? Bedside manner would be a doctor, somebody who treats you as a patient when you're laying in bed and recovering. Cool. 
What was the first name of Yeltsin, president of Russia from 1991 to 1999? That would be Boris Yeltsin, final answer. These are kind of tough questions to start off. Good. The word cupie relates to which type of children's toy? Um, I actually don't know this one, but it's too early for me to actually use a lifeline because I have three lifelines. So I'm going to go ahead and use doll because it feels like dolls is what children play with the most. Cool. Okay. Or maybe I like subconsciously knew that. How is it decided which team bats first in Major League Baseball? So it's always the visitors bat first. Home team bats second, so then they have the opportunity to match them on each half of the inning. Which of these U.S. presidents is not carved on Mount Rushmore in South Dakota? That's going to be Ulysses S. Grant, who is a general or 18th president. Good. On which form of transport did Thor Heyerdahl cross the Pacific in 1947? I believe this is going to be a balloon. But I can't be too sure about this, so let's go to the audience. Let's see what they have to say. Audience, help me, please. I have no idea. Okay, so they say a balsa wood raft. I have no reason not to like go with them, so let's go ahead and say balsa wood raft. You guys know better than I do. Nice. Thank you, audience members. Very nice of you guys. Which of the following ranks is the lowest in the U.S. Army? First thing I'm thinking of is saving Private Ryan because like he wasn't like this really high-end, like, person in the movie i feel like lieutenant is like a bit higher like people report to a lieutenant definitely not corporal obviously not a specialist i think it's gonna be a private okay all right all right all right i'm gonna switch up my person and we're gonna go now with um chun who's a manager and passionate in astronomy and for transparency purposes i don't know how many have been edited into the video so far but i've played this now 15 times a spindle how does that I can't play this. I'm done. Two U.S. states are separate from the other. Hawaii is one. Alaska. Okay. There we go. Chun. Good start. With which basketball team is Michael Jordan most associated? Chicago Bulls. Let's go, baby. Two-time three-peater in the 90s. Failed baseball player. In which part of the body are the retina? I. Final answer. Final answer. We know this. In what kind of world is One Piece set? Wow. Anime questions. Pirate World, of course, searching for the One Piece. I've never watched it before, but I do know the basics of it. Which pickaxe mines the fastest? Okay, stone, silver, basic, or it's gotta be the gold. Gotta be the gold. I've never played ever in my life, but if it's not the gold, then this game makes no sense, even though it already makes no sense. All right, Minecraft questions, that's crazy. Which queen of Egypt committed suicide with a snake? This is the Cleopatra story. Cleopatra the seventh or the first? Wait, did I just mess that up? No, it's just like the, it's just the OG Cleopatra. How am I supposed to know first versus seventh? I married my cousin. I married my sister. Like the, you guys are, you're all like the same to me. I don't know anything like BC. It's just, it blends. It's just all a blur. All right. This is my final attempt, no matter what, to become a millionaire and to beat this game show. And if I do not do it, then mark my words, I will delete my channel. What is the capital of Italy? <clears throat> Rome, final answer. Which of these places does not have books? A dance club. Although there could be books in there. It's not like for certain that there's no books. Good. What describes the engine that could? The little engine that could. Thomas the Tank Engine. Shout out to him. He's a good guy. I've met him a couple times. What is the capital of Luxembourg? That would be Luxembourg. Luxembourg, Luxembourg. I know. Crazy, right? What do you call words that refer to the same idea? Synonyms? Homonyms sound the same. Antonyms are the opposite ideas. Gotta be synonyms. Cool. Which of these mushrooms does not exist? No idea. Black trumpet, red... I have no idea. How about we go 50-50? Goat spirit and... Everything sounds weird to me. I think black trumpet is... Okay. Uh, let's go... Do -do 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 celery bolets. That seems like just a made-up thing. That's something like I would definitely make up. Cool. In addition to red and white, what other color is part of the Mexican flag? Green. Final answer. Red, white, and green. They're like Italians. Mexicans are just Italians in America. That's what they say, right? As of 2006, why is Pluto no longer considered a planet? It's too small. It is now a dwarf planet. Final answer. Rest in peace to Pluto. What year did Al-Qaeda attack the U.S. and destroy the Twin Towers? It's 2001, 9-11, 2001. What do hedgehogs mainly eat? So they eat a lot of insects. Final answer. There's a hedgehog that exists in my house. If you'd like to see it, then let me know. Cool. What is the name of the most famous photo retouching software? Photoshop. Hopefully they're not pulling my leg and doing paint. Definitely Photoshop. 
Cool. New question. What does a barometer measure? Uh, atmospheric pressure. That's how you get like the, the PSI readings. That would be a thermometer. This would be like some wind chime or something. Precipitation now, yeah, barometer. Atmospheric pressure. Wow, this is an easy question for like 100,000. How much money are we talking, baby? 250, so we have two questions left and I have a phone a friend. So this might just be the final run. Final question, here we go. Wow, all right. Lock in, baby, lock in. And the final question is what part of speech describes a noun? You're telling me this is the million dollar question. The part of speech that describes a noun? Let's just be clear here, so. It's an adjective, I'm, why am I even doing this? It's an adjective. Let's go, give me my million dollars. Give me, give me my money. I don't, I, what do I do? Give me my money. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more content, click here, click here. Otherwise, subscribe on your way out, and I'll see you next time. Peace.